what happened this morning here along Burlington Pike in the Florence area proves criminals can be extremely persistent. And that is important for every car owner to know right now because thieves are looking for wheels they can whisk away. An overnight break in at Zimmer Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Florence set off a chain of events that has longtime investigators shaking their heads. Very, very brazen suspects we're dealing with. Major Philip Ridgel is with the Boone County Sheriff's Office. He told me a sergeant happened to notice suspicious activity at the dealership on Burlington Pike around 2 this morning. When the sergeant approached the main office, the people who broke into the building took off running. We set up a perimeter, uh, utilized our canines, our drones, however, they were able to slip through the cracks. Rigel says the burglars tried and failed to steal a car from a driveway nearby, then eventually managed to swipe a vehicle from the parking lot of a store on Houston Road. In an exceptionally bold move, the crooks then drove back to Zimmer Chrysler at 7.30 this morning and used a key fob they had stolen to start a Dodge Challenger remotely. And they did this with detectives inside the dealership. They were there working the case from overnight. I viewed surveillance video that shows one of the crooks climbing into the muscle car and then driving it over a small concrete barrier before leaving these tracks in the grass while driving away. Their brazen acts and their persistence in doing so is something that's concerning to us. It's not clear if what happened at Zimmer Chrysler is connected to a case I told you about yesterday involving multiple high-end cars being stolen from Northgate Chrysler in Colerain. In that case, police have arrested 23-year-old Aaron Cornus, but other suspects are still at large. Now, in that Colerain case, police have recovered about a dozen stolen cars worth $350,000. Back on this side of the river in the Boone County case, no arrest to report at this point, but at least the stolen Dodge Challenger has been recovered. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT 